A few centuries ago, in the Middle Ages and before, if they actually occurred of course, the general population of Earth mostly in Western societies although this occurs in others as well, followed and obeyed what their religious leaders dictated to them. This mainly occurring with the Catholic Church as the main example, or whatever they said was the truth just because they said it was, and they justified everything they said because it was supposedly written in the Holy Scriptures. Those truths were fixed and unmovable, and it is from there where the word dogma came from. To be dogmatic is to follow and obey rules no matter what, any rules, and the subject cannot even think about questioning the truths imposed upon. The mere thought that those rules and truths may be wrong is considered reprehensible, wrong and even ludicrous, they are considered to be unmovable things a population must simply accept and abide by. Most of the times a population is so immersed and blinded by the dogmas imposed on them, that they cannot even think of the possibility that there may be other ways to see and interpret things outside the truth frame imposed on them, simply because they lack all necessary context to see further, therefore anything outside their dogma is an impossibility and cannot exist. Then there is another added factor of thinking in practical terms, and of time being wasted, so the subjects can't see any point at all in questioning things that are already known. They will ask themselves these questions. What for? To what purpose? What is there in for me? And to make things worse with this last point, if they dare question dogma the result people will get is to be attacked, discredited and even ostracized by their peers and by the society they live in, therefore this goes against their very survival. So people in general, especially those who have something to lose, will see no point and even see it as dangerous to even question any dogma, and this is yet another reason why people are kept in fear so they have no time and no interest in questioning anything at all. To be able to analyze anything, including today's subject, we must assume things based on what we consider to be the best information we have at our disposal at any given time. As a way of thought, it is best to always keep an open mind and the willingness to replace any and all the information we may have when we are faced with better, or more accurate information. And even the criteria of what is better, and what more accurate means has to evolve with ourselves as we go. So based on what I just said, the best information we have indicates that there is a group of entities, human and other, that do control what occurs on earth from the shadows and have been controlling the human population for at least a few thousands of years. This in itself is a huge subject, but I know that at least most of you listening to me right now have come to that conclusion on your own, so that is my base assumption for what comes next. One of the things such a group that controls society on earth needs the most, is to control the general population so they can exploit them as a resource and also so won't go and rebel against them. So evidence shows that they created religions, and dogma with them. All under the basic premise that if you go against what they say, you will be utterly punished in the harshest of ways. But basically the imposition of religious dogma is the best way to mind control and guide the perception of the general population, and with it creating an entire reality with its set of rules and laws that will work in favor of whoever is controlling said society, as it was deliberately designed by them. So, religion and its dogma were engineered with the sole purpose of controlling the population within the society they control. Few people dared to question religious dogma back then, and the ones who did question were mostly because they themselves were coming from another religion and its dogma. But even the ones who were wise enough to be able to analyze everything objectively and could come to the conclusion that many things in religious dogma simply didn't add up, simply had no way to prove them wrong. And this is the point where the scientific method came along, a few hundred years ago and as an apparently new method of analyzing and explaining the world. 
And this is where one of the first assumptions spawn from, the systematic neglecting of all things that hint towards spirituality because of their immediate association with religion, even to this day most people confuse spirituality with being religious. This dissociation with all things spiritual helped to arise and develop the concepts behind materialism, and with them the principle of simplifying all things, to dissect and to cut everything into small pieces in order to try to explain the whole. All in an attempt to explain away everything that was uncertain. This leads to a mechanistic way of interpreting and of analyzing everything that is being studied, this means that human science has the clear tendency to assume that everything can be explained in mechanical terms. They see everything as a machine that works because of its parts, thinking only in terms of cogs and levers basically, neglecting with it all that would have anything to do with spirit. This is when it is easy for us to see how the controllers of Earth's society saw the need to control and regulate science so it wouldn't work against them. Worded differently, they needed to regulate science so it wouldn't expose the lies and tricks that they need to control the masses. So the cabal, or the controllers there on earth, started to teach science, and for that they developed the concept of a modern university, where they could have everything under control, brainwashing, and guiding the perception of new generations of scientists. All this I've said means that science on earth is heavily regulated with the direct intention of maintaining and directing all its achievements, and to keep them under their scrutiny and control. What we see here, quite clearly I must say, is that science on earth is nothing more than yet another dogmatic religion. Developed, regulated, and designed with the exact same purpose as any other religion in the past and present, and that is to control the perception of reality, what is possible and what is not, and to hinder the creative capacity and limits of the population in general. To keep them submissive, obedient and in fear. On earth people assume that if something is scientific then it is true and real. They blindly believe in the infallibility of the scientific method and they blindly accept anything that is scientifically proven as dogma. They assume that science already knows how everything works, and that it has already deciphered all the secrets of the universe, except for the fine details. This is by far the best religion the controllers, whoever they may be, have come up with. It is a self-contained self-validating dogmatic religion that ostracizes, bans, and ridicules any one of its members who may dare question what has already been decided to be fixed rules and so-called laws of nature. 